magazine's finished, so I thought I'd come out and chill with Mother Nature for a bit. Putting on a show today. Now the magazine has of course been published on the 1st of June and it's now the 4th but I still want to continue producing this series of videos to show how the whole thing came together. So in this video I'm putting together a two page spread. Now the size of this story is dictated by the amount of information that's available but it's an exercise that happens every year and the format of the exercise doesn't change a lot so it's not worthy of being a major spread. That said, of course, not every story can be a major spread. There are big ones, there are small ones. This one is a small one. You might ask, what's with the water footage? Well, I got soaked to the skin today, so there's no way I'm not using that footage. Aside from that though, I don't think you need a running commentary on what I'm doing with this spread. It's pretty obvious, I think. Um, it's just a two page spread and it's coming together nicely. For me, it's a matter of presenting a story that deserves to be told, but with scant information it's adding some life and some impact to some photos that are just a little bit flat this photo for example needed cropping the photographer was too far away and the battlefield too big yet the subject was quite interesting i'd not seen these trucks used before with the palletized load system and artillery so that's a first for me so that's an interesting thing to zoom in on I also wanted to use some people in this spread. Um, this story is all about the people and the audience, so it didn't make sense not to have some people in the spread. And the first choice of person was a no-brainer, a uh, young soldier here, brandishing a piece of kit that's topical at the moment, i.e. drones. 
so that was easy to pick. The other one, not a huge fan of this photo, it's obviously a stage PR type photo, but at the time there was nothing else available. Some others came along later on, but the job was already done, so I didn't change it out. Now with the photos in place and a little bit of space on the page, and the story being so short, this was a good opportunity to spend some time on some good captions. I could add some extra information to the story and some extra readability to the story and fill up this white space that I'm left with. Mm -hmm.